I'm going to tell the story of star sprites and their wishes. Far, far away, beyond the sky, way above the clouds. It's been said that there's a haven where the stars live. In the sanctuary of Star Haven, there rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered spirits, star sprites, <laughs> watched over our peaceful world carefully, very carefully. And then, oh, oh dear, what the? Who stuck that weird thing into this story? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> so I can, at long last, beat my arch enemy, Mario. I'll take this star rod. Do it, Kami Koopa. No, you mustn't do that. Yeah. Now let's try using it. Stop it! Cut it out, Bowser! You're changing the story! Wah ha ha ha! We did it! That was a piece of cake! Wah ha ha! Now star kids may rise to the haven to deliver people's wishes, but those wishes will not come true. Whatever can they do? All you beautiful people of the world, Chelsea Chi here, and I'm actually playing, you know, a video game for once instead of unboxing a loot crate. Um, I really wanted to play Paper Mario as my first one. Um, I want to do kind of like let's play walkthroughs, but of games that I like, like my favorite games. And what better way to start off than with, you know, Paper Mario? I love Nintendo 64 games and GameCube games, so. Uh, we'll probably be playing a lot of those, but let's start off with Mario. <laughs> I was going to call it Mario Party, but that's not very fun with just one person. So we're going to start off with Paper Mario. Um, as you can see, I have four files um, already up, but we will be playing on the Chi. Actually, no we won't. We will not be playing on that file. I don't want my name in all caps. What, what was I thinking? That's crazy. Okay, we'll be playing on Chi, not Chi. So let's go ahead and get it started. Um, I'm sure many, if not all of y'all have played Paper Mario, so it'll just be a very light walkthrough that we'll be doing. So I won't be saying, you know, everything, what every part you should be doing, and I'll try to remember since it's my very first Let's Play, but we'll be figuring it out together. So, without further ado, let us get started. Let me open my drink, because I'm probably going to get thirsty. Mail call! We're at Mario's house, and there's Luigi. Answer in the mail. <sighs> hey Mario, we got a letter from Princess Peach. I'll read it to you, okay? Since, you know, Mario never talks. Alright, let's see. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you could both attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. And we're off! <laughs> Oh, 
I mean, I really love this game because, as you can see, it's a 3D game, but everything's built 2D. Everyone's paper thin, you know, they're only two-sided, which I, I really kind of enjoyed. It was a very unique twist. As you can see, the buildings and, like, the doors are 2D. I mean, I'm sorry, they're 3D, but Mario and Luigi and all of the characters are just 2D. What a magnificent castle. I never get used to this place. It looks like a lot of guests are already here. See, as you can see, I don't really, I don't really, I come forward, but you don't see my front. Like, I'm not looking at the, ca the camera straight on. Alright, so, let us go. Um, if you want it to move a little bit faster, you could press Z. So, let's... I usually... I usually talk to, like, everybody. <laughs> Here's the kitchen, it looks like. Let's talk to you. Oh, hello there, Mario. I'm tasty. I, like... I love the idea that all of the toads, like, end in tea. Like, it's tasty, but it's just tea, because it's for tasty toad. But it's just tasty, and then there's other cute ones like that that make, like, full words. I thought that was a really unique thing that Nintendo did. I really love to cook. You may not know this, but I cook all the food for this big party. I eat all of my most delicious dishes. But, oh dear, I got so into my cooking that I used up all of my ingredients. Now I have to go shopping. Doesn't seem like a very big problem. What do you say, Toad? I've been practicing cooking. I hope that someday I get good enough to cook food as delicious as Tasty's. Do you know how to cook, Mario? You really ought to learn. Personally, I think cooking is exceptionally fun. All the ingredients. So, I'm probably going to talk to everybody, but I might skip some of it for you guys. I mean, I like talking to all the people. Princess Peach is such a generous and wonderful lady, just as I was told. It was worth coming to visit. Mario, please come visit us in the Shiver region someday. Hmm, maybe I will, Toad. Maybe I will. Ah, salutations, Mario. Do you know Frosty here? <laughs> He's come all the way from the Shiver region, which lies far to the north of here. I just uh, talked to him. Hey, er, Mario. I hope you brought an appetite. There's so much good food here. I already ate way too much. I'm taking a little breather. Well, that's enough of rest. I'm hungry again. Let's eat. To the buffet table. Well, you go and do that, Toad. Doesn't seem to open. So we do have some locked doors that I can't go in. Well, uh, let's talk to you, guard. Because I gotta find Princess Peach. Welcome to Peach's Castle. Uh, well, you didn't help me any. What about you, Toad? Wow, I've never seen so many guests from different parts of the world in one place. I'll bet you could hear some stories about places you've never been to, huh? Sorry if there is some noise. I'm wearing some headphones. Since I don't have, like, a mic mic, I'm just using my headphones mic. Just interrupting your conversation. Mario, you're looking well. Please enjoy the party, okay? Fine. Bro, you got anything to say? Say, Mario, why don't you go see Princess Peach? I'll go later. I'm thinking I'll mingle for now. If you press A in front of the door up there, you can open it. So, Luigi's telling me to press A, which I'm kind of figuring out. Well, welcome, Mario. The last party was lovely, wasn't it? Oh, by the way, Princess Peach has been waiting for you. Ooh, waiting for me? I think Princess Peach has been looking forward to seeing you since this morning, Mario. She's been restless. Hehe, <laughs> how cute. Well, I'm excited to see her as well. Oh, she's not in there. So, I better go upstairs. Oh, penguin, what you doing? Wow, this castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? I wish I could stay here at Peach's castle forever. Princess Peach went to her private chambers just now. She must be a bit tired. So, now I'm gonna sneak up on old Princess Peach in her private chambers. Ooh, more people to talk to. None of these doors seem to be open. So I guess I'll talk. 
This princess needs to have a special man in her life. She's such a lovely lady. Whoever she loves must be very special indeed. <laughs> You're talking to him, dude. Come on. Well, today we have guests from Dry Dry Outpost, the Shiver Region, Koopa Village. There's so many folks here, I can't keep track of them all. And where might you be from? Oh, you're, you're Mario? I'm sorry. Excuse me. Well, that's right, you better be sorry. Don't you recognize I got blue overalls and a red hat? Only one person wears that. Do you know of a place called Shooting Star Summit? Summit? It's near this castle. It's such a romantic place. It's definitely the best place for my, a date. Trust me. Maybe you oughta, you know, ask the princess to go there. Good idea. I'll remember you. When that happens. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm a no nomad mouse. Because <laughs> they're trying to put nomad and mouse together. Nomad and mouse. Okay. And I come from dry, dry desert. Everyone I've met in this town seems incredibly nice. I think I'll make this my place. I think I'll make this place my home away from home. What about you, a uh, toad in a turban? I come from a desert town called Dry Dry Outpost. This castle is really lovely, isn't it? Truly gorgeous. So cool and comfortable. I even got a chance to talk to the beautiful Princess Peach. What an honor! When I return to Dry Dry Outpost, I'm going to tell everyone about it. Old Man Toad. Greetings, Mario. I am the minister of Princess Peach's castle. Ah. The, the Toadstool, I guess I think is his name, Toadsworth. It's good to see you here. When you're around, I feel like our kingdom is secure. Yep, our future looks bright. Lady Toad. Hello, Mario. I'm always on the cutting edge of fashion, and I must say, your outfit is just fabulous. It really suits you. Well, thank you. I only always wear it, don't ever wear anything else. I come from Koopa Village, which is just down the road from here. Oh. Uh, I just had the honor of talking with Princess Peach. What a wonderful lady she is! You're talking to a penguin. A uh, turtle and a penguin together. <laughs> I'm here on behalf of the lovely Shiver City. I'm the mayor there, you know. My goodness, look at the time. I have to go shopping for souvenirs with Frosty. So, I'll check these doors. Oops, I came in that door. But I'm pretty sure these doors are locked. I'm guessing that one the guard was standing in front of was... Princess Peach's room. You know, not to let anyone else in, but I'm Mario. Surely I'll be let in. This is Princess Peach's room, but I'm afraid she isn't in here at the moment. Why are you standing there? Does she have, like, jewels in her room that you're gonna steal? The cool thing about it, you can't really spin on the stairs, but you do go faster. Okay, so we continue up. I, I, I'm just a trainee, sir, said the guest. My heart's been beating like a bass drum ever since this morning. Thump, 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 thump. Ah, uh, you'll get used to it, kid. So we continue up the stairs. This hallway's different than the other ones. It's nice and quiet here with no guests around. Ah, <sighs> so pleasant. Telling me. <laughs> Up some more stairs. Oh, it's getting kind of darker. I can hop. Up. <laughs> and all the sounds are so adorable. That hop sound. Princess Peach went to her private chambers just now. Oh, well maybe that wasn't her room. Maybe this is her room. Okay, so seems we seem very alone. Oh, there's the princess. Oh, Mario, you came to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat? Just the two of us? Mm, sure, princess. It was such a lovely day out today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me? Me, 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 me. <laughs> Would you accompany me, Mario? No, oh, what's happening? We got some rumbling, grumblings going on. Oh, Bowser! 
those swinging spike balls. Oh my goodness, he was underneath the castle the whole time. I'd be freaking out too. Actually, I probably would have like fallen over <laughs> due to all of that. Whoa! He like dragged him up into the sky. Are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? I don't have any idea. Like an earthquake? Oh my! Look, Mario! It's still daytime, isn't it? But my, I can see stars outside! Oh no! Could have hurt someone like that, Bowser? Breaking through all that glass? Wahahaha! <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach! Bowser! But this can't be! It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? Hagwahaha! <laughs> Takes up the whole tech space. He must really be shouting it. Yeah, that was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky. It's sitting on my castle now. Weren't expecting that, huh? Ha! This castle's under my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me. Oh. Here I come, protecting the day. Huh, what? It's Mario. What a shock. Heh, <laughs> not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You could never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true. I've had my problems in the past. But this time it's different. This time, I'm gonna win. That sounds like, um, Waluigi. I think he says that in, like, some of the party games. He's like, I'm -a gonna win. <laughs> okay, tough guy. Let's go. Alright, Bowser. You're gonna have it. Sorry, you can do it. Well, with that, you know, confidence from you, Peach, I sure can. I've beaten him plenty of times. So, they give us some options. All I can really do is jump. But I do have an option for item and an option for strategies. Usually, strategies is like the runaway button. So, this is a, um, if you haven't played Paper Mario, or you haven't, it's just been a while. This is, um, an RPG. So, you know, it's turn-based. So, I'll go, and then Bowser will go, and then I'll go, and then Bowser will go. So, I can only jump, and I can only jump on Bowser. One! Well, he only does one, two, so that's not that bad. So, just jump on him again. Then he'll slap me again. Hopefully he has less health than I do. Good old Mario, always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attack won't beat me. Whoa. Take a look at this. Look what I stole from Star Haven. It's the Star Rod. Which is, you know, what we saw in the beginning of our little story. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. Well, we'll see about that. Bowser's all a rainbow now. Wahahaha! <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? Oh my. Instead of doing one, he did three. So now I'm down to five. So whenever you get down to five, it'll start doing a little danger. So, I would want to heal at this point, but I don't have anything, so all I can do is keep jumping. Uh-oh. Now I don't do anything. <laughs> is that all you've got? How sad. You'd best take some vitamins, cause that didn't hurt at all. Why you gotta be so mean, Bowser? Peach, you're not even doing anything to help. Could help me a little bit. Yep, just as I suspected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Oh no. I don't know how that didn't hurt Peach, because she's right behind me. Uh, 
Uh, no. That was a horrible battle. Oh no! Mario! Get up! Yes. Oh yeah! I did it! I finally did it! I beat my old rival Mario! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you're the king. As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. Oh, lightning striking me. No, no, Mario! <laughs> I just predicted what Peach was gonna say. Oh, no, Mario! I don't know how those, you know, Koopalings got on board. It's a good thing Mario's made out of paper. Since he's just fallen. And it's the start of our game. Paper Mario. Welcome, everyone. So, I think we are actually going to stop here for the first episode. I hope all of you guys enjoyed it so far. And, you know, leave me with any suggestions for things that, um, might make it better. And I will see you all next time. Bye!